You see, there was something inside of her telling her she needed help. But there was something else inside of her saying, you know, let's go do this. But praise God, God won the battle. She was set free from those devils and demons. Did I do it? Absolutely not. I had nothing to do with it other than just walk by faith. But I believe God's Word. Go preach the gospel to every creature. Go out through all the earth and all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He said, them that believe and are baptized shall be saved. Them that believe not shall be damned. And in my name you shall cast out devils. I believe that word. I believe. He said, these signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. He said, these signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. These signs and wonders shall follow them that believe. Well, you see, I was believing. I praise God I had some other people in the room that were believing. And therefore, the signs and wonders had to follow. It didn't say they were going to go before me. It didn't say the signs and wonders would happen with me. It said they will follow. Hallelujah. And therefore, I didn't take any credit out of it. God got all the credit. God got all the honor. He gets all the worth, the worthiness because he's not going to share his grace. He's not going to share his mercy. He's not going to share his glory with any human being. It's all God, church. And if we try to take one ounce of glory from God, we're the ones that's going to be cursed. We're the ones that's going to lose our blessings. But that morning, hallelujah, that night was early morning. At 4.30 in the morning, 4 o'clock in the in the morning that girl was set free why because he said these signs and wonders shall follow them that believe when that first demon come out I could have easily packed up my oil and said okay that's it she's been set free but something in my spirit said no 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 and praise God we kept praying and the devils kept coming out but listen we had a woman here Carol knows what I'm talking about she was here what and back in the uh, early 90s and we had a woman here was having a gospel singing and they come to me uh, during the singing and said listen, uh, this uh, woman is possessed by the devil and she wants to be set free. She needs to be set free. Uh, I went back and I made an announcement in church. Uh, if you're not spirit filled, uh, if you don't have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you better get out of here. The whole church cleared out, hallelujah, except for a handful uh, because uh, listen, if you listen, when a demon comes out of a person, uh, if it finds an empty vessel, uh, that demon, that devil will come out of one person and jump right in another one. Uh, and when it jumps in the other one, now you got two to set free. Uh, and if they listen, you don't need to be around. That's like when I call people up here to pray. Listen, you don't need to be up here laying your hands on them. If I call them up here for prayer, I'm the only one that needs to be touching these people unless I ask you to touch them. If my spirit says that you need to be up here touching them so we can agree, then you need to come. But if I'm laying hands on a person, you don't need to touch that person because whatever they've got can come on you. If you don't have the faith and if you're not under the anointing, whatever disease they've got, whatever sickness they've got can jump on you in a second. Why? Because it's the devil. God didn't put the disease there. The devil put it there. Now, God had allowed it to come. He allowed it to come for a reason. He allowed it to happen for a reason. Maybe he wants to be glorified. But you see, man cannot heal you. Man cannot do anything for you except deceive you and lead you down the path of, of damnation, lead you down the path of sickness and sorrow. But but God, Jehovah, Jesus Christ uh, will lead you down the pathway of righteousness. Uh, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, uh, I will fear no evil uh, because thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff that comfort me. Uh, and praise God, as long as I know that Jesus is with me, I don't look to the right. Uh, I don't look to the left. Uh, I don't have to look around uh, because I know he's holding my hand. Uh, I know he dwells inside of me. He's walking with me. He's talking with me. And people say, brother, you never heard God speak. Oh, but you don't know God. If you knew God, you would know that he talks to his children. I wouldn't want to serve a God that didn't talk to me. I wouldn't want to serve a God that didn't make me feel good when he walks around me, when he talks to me. He takes me in his arms late at night. This morning I was up at quarter after four, and the whole time I laid there at about quarter to six. No, I laid there at 5.30. I got up at 5.30. 20 to 6. I laid there and God was talking to me the whole time and I was talking back to him. We carry on conversations all the time. Why? Because I listen. I'm not boasting on self, but I listen. And when God shows a talking to you, it's time to stand still and listen to that small, still voice and he'll tell you everything you have need of. He'll guide you and direct you. He'll tell you where to walk. He'll tell you what to say. He'll tell you everything that you need to know. He's all over me 
right now. He's been over me for the last 30 minutes. Uh, and church, I can't think of what I'm saying as fast as I'm saying it. Why? Because I don't have the mentality. I don't have the brain to think this fast. Uh, but I can tell you one thing. Uh, he said, uh, if I would hear it in my ear, for me to proclaim it from the housetops, uh, and everything I hear is what I say. Uh, you don't have to receive it. Uh, you don't have to believe me. Those joining my television, if uh, the cameras are still going, uh, you don't have to listen to a word I'm saying. It don't make any difference to me, but one day uh, you're going to stand before God Jehovah and you're going to see, hallelujah, that everything that I'm saying is coming from him. Uh, he's going to judge me. Uh, he's going to judge you. Uh, and we're going to see where we end up. Hallelujah. That's God. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to continue where we left off last week. And for those that weren't looking last week or watching the program, shame on you. You should have been watching. But anyway, we're, I'm here and, and we're praising the name of the Lord this morning because the message has to go out. Jesus Christ is the answer. He's the answer and he's the only answer. And I'm telling you right now that God's got a message for the people in this last day. I was sharing with some while ago that uh, there was a TV station that's very popular uh, that would not air one of our programs last week or will not air it this, well, it was last week because I stated on there that God can teach man everything he needs to know, that he doesn't need to go to seminary. If God called him to preach, God's going to give him the words to say. Under the anointing, God will teach his men what to say. And they said, we're not going to air that because it goes against our beliefs here. And what's their beliefs there? They have one of the, uh, the largest seminaries in the United States of America. They charge people an outrageous fortune to come to learn how to preach. And they pay their professors astronomical salaries to stand there and teach these people how to proclaim God's word. And therefore, they said, we're not going to air your program because we don't agree with you. Well, I gave the church chapter and verse a few minutes ago, and I'm going to give it to those joining by television because even though this station won't air us, a sister station right there in the area that covers the same people, covers the same area, even more people, about 1,900,000 more than what this station covers, said, we'll air you. Praise God. We'll give you a air on air time on the same day, charge you the same money, and we'll air you an hour early at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, but we'll air the program because we believe in what you're preaching. And church, I'm here to tell you that God wants his message to go out. Uh, it says in the book of John chapter 14 verse 26, but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. Uh, you see the Holy Ghost is going to teach you if you've been called of God and you've been filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, and if you've been called of God, you're going to have to be saved. God's not going to call the heathen to stand in the pulpit. He's not going to call Satan's children to stand in the pulpit. Now, those are the ones that need to be taught by man. But let me tell you something. When God calls you, he's going to equip you. He'll give you the message. And when he gives you the message, it'll be delivered under the power of Almighty God. It's not going to be delivered under man's power. I'm telling you right now, the Bible says, Jesus, the Son of God, said, I'm going to send you the Holy Ghost, and he's going to teach you all things He's going to teach you everything you need to, to know. And it says, and bring to things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said to you. When you read God's word and you listen to God, every word that God speaks to you and every word that he's written to you, he'll bring to your remembrance when you have need of it. He'll, he'll bring the scripture back to you. He'll take you to, through the Bible to where you need to go. My God is the God of today. He's the God of yesterday and he's the God of tomorrow. And when we have Jesus Christ in our hearts, and we, we have our sins under the blood. I praise God. We don't have to worry because our God's going to see us through. And praise the Lord when he comes on the scene. He's got a message for his people. And that message, praise God, is to be carried around the world. It's not going to just hop and skip here. And there God is going to take it all around the world. He woke me up this morning at 4.05. And he talked to me for over an hour. And he was telling me what he's going to do in this last day. And I can stand here and tell you today uh, that my God is going to see things through. Uh, he's not going to play any games any longer. He told me what he was going to do to this country. He told me why he called me uh, and he also gave me a message to give to the people. Uh, he said woe to you. Uh, woe to you that will hinder my children, saith the Lord. Uh, for your woe unto you uh, that will bow down before stone statues uh, and cry out to uh, metal statues, saith the Lord. Uh, have I not told you uh, not to worship false idols? Uh, have 
Have I not told you not to call man on earth a, a father? You have only one father. It's my father, Jehovah, and he dwells in heaven. That's the only one that's worthy to be called father. Bow down to no man, saith the Lord. And I speak to the heathen of this nation. I speak to the homosexuals. I speak to the lesbians. I speak also to the abortionists. I speak to the false leaders, the false teachers, the false prophets, the false preachers. And I tell you, I shall crush you, saith the Lord. In this latter day, I shall crush you, and I'll crush you as dust. And the righteous shall see the clouds. And the righteous, I tell you this day, when you see the clouds of dust, ye shall know it's the wicked that I have brought down. My name is Jehovah. I am God of all. And I say, I shall crush the heathen. I shall crush the wicked. And I shall ground them in the powder. And their dust shall flow throughout the land. Their dust shall be a recognition to you. Ye shall know that I am God. And I have delivered that which I say, saith the Lord. Mine anointing shall be upon my children. And my word shall not fail, saith God. My word shall go forward with might and power. And for those that shall try to depress my word, I say that I, I say that I will carry this word into every city and every town and every state of this nation 